Wisdom, courage, temperance, and prudence are the most commonly mentioned virtues going back to Aristotle. We often measure our own behavior against those virtues. We assume that at some point in our development that we aspire to be virtuous, not just when we're being graded, but because it's the right thing to do in developing our virtuous character. Christian Miller's book, The Character Gap, mentions several reasons for being virtuous, three of which directly apply to leadership. First, virtuous lives inspire, and we should all want to be leaders who inspire. Second, good character makes the world and our workplaces better. Third, being virtuous can be rewarding. The reward can be joy in helping others grow, or as study shows, people with integrity perform better as top level executives. How and when will you show virtue this week? Lead well this week.